Hello, my name is Mr. Asprey, and this is another tricky question, and it's a Thursday today, which means it is statistics. Okay, what we've got here, we've got a random variable, x has a normal distribution with mean 10 and standard deviation 6. Find the probability that x is less than 7. Okay, so this is a calculator jobby. I'm going to go to menu, and I'm going to go down to uh, distribution, and I'm going to go to normal CD. And I want the, well, let's just quickly just do a quick sketch of what this is actually saying. It's saying that I want to go 7 or lower. So I want this area in here, given that the mean is 10 and the standard deviation is 6. So the lower... Uh, bound is well it can just go any way to the left uh, so let's just go negative a huge number just to make sure and the upper bound is seven uh, so that is the region which I've just drawn on that sketch uh, standard deviation is six and mean is ten and this gives me my probability so part a the probability is equal to uh, should I say probability that x is less than seven is equal to 0 0.3085 and that's a decent amount of accuracy okay lovely uh, part B it says find the value of K such that um, this horrible looking thing is equal to 60 okay so I know a lot of people don't like statistical um, notation and they get put off by it, uh, but hopefully this question will show you that it shouldn't be that scary. So uh, again, we've got this uh, bell curve, and we've got 10 in the middle, um, and it's saying that there is a probability of 0 0.6 of x being in between k less than 10 and k plus 10. So that means there must be some value of k which if I take it away from 10, it will be on that side. And if I add 10 to it, it will be this side. And it will be symmetrical because we're either taking away 10, k or adding on k from the middle mean part. So it's this area here which they're telling me is going to equal 60%. Okay, well, if that green, sorry, if that yellow area equals 60%, uh, then by symmetry, this green area here will equal 20%. because so we'll have 20% here, we'll have 20% here, and then that will give us 60% in the middle. So let's just find the, um, the value which will give me 20% um, uh, to the left. So I'm going to go into this time uh, normal, um, inverse normal, should I say, and I want an area of 20%, and remember that the area is always uh, less than, so it's always to the left, um, and I want the mean and uh, the standard deviation to be the same, so I press equals, and that is my value. So that, excuse me, so that tells me that um, this point here uh, has a value of 4.95. So I could say that 10 minus K is equal to 4.95. So therefore, doing a bit of a rearranging, that means that K is equal to 5.05. Perfect. Okay, right, onwards and upwards to part C. Uh, it says a single observation of X of X is uh, to be taken and a rectangle is to be drawn. And it has these coordinates. Find the probability that the area of the rectangle is more than 40. Right, so I'm going to, uh, first off, just assume, for the sake of my diagram, that x is greater than 0. It might not be, but just so I get a quick sketch. Remember, if it's tricky, draw a picky. So I'm definitely going to have this one here, 0, 0. I'm going to have x, 0, um, which looks like that. And I'm also going to have um, uh, x and then x minus 3. So let's say it's over there. That's the point x and x minus 3. And then finally, I'm going to have 0 and x minus 3 there. 
So my rectangle is going to look like this. Okay, so straight away I can figure out what the area of that rectangle is actually going to be. So the area is going to be, uh, well, this distance down the bottom is x, it has a width of x, and up here it has a height of x minus 3. So the area is going to be x times x minus 3. Uh, and I want that to be greater than 40. So expanding out, that gives me x squared minus 3x needs to be greater than 40. So x squared minus 3x needs to uh, minus 40 needs to be greater than 0. So that's a quadratic inequality. Uh, I can solve it by factorizing first. Uh, and I get this. So this tells me the critical points are at 8 and negative 5. Okay, now if we remember from GCSE, if I'm drawing a quadratic inequality, uh, so if I'm solving a quadratic inequality, I might want to give the sketch of the quadratic first. So it looks something like this with those two roots there. And then where is this graph giving me values that are greater than zero? Well, it's if x is greater than 8, those values of y are above the axis, or if x is less than minus 5. So those are my two solutions. I'll just get rid of this like that, and I will say that x needs to be either greater than 8, or x needs to be less than minus 5. Okay, right, let me clear some space and we'll find these probabilities. Okay, so a single observation is taken of x, and we've just shown that um, we get this condition satisfied if x is greater than 8, so we need to find that probability, or if x is less than minus 5. So we need to find two probabilities. Okay, so back to our calculator, and we need to go to uh, distribution, uh, normal CD, because we're going 8 or more, then 8 is the lower limit, and the upper, bit it, upper, <laughs> upper limit just put in a huge number. Uh, same standard deviation, same mean, so this gives me a probability of 0 0.6306, um, four sig fig is always a good idea for probability. Okay, and then we need to find also the probability that x is less than minus 5, so that would be the upper limit, minus 5. So lower limit, I'm just going to put a huge negative number. That should do the job. And that tells me that that is 0 0.0062. Uh, okay, great. So the total probability of getting a correct value of x will just be these two added together. And once I've done that, that should give me my final answer of 0 0.6368. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed that, and um, I'll see you tomorrow for a pure question. Bye for now.